What's going on? Today I'm going to go over how to build a chicken roost. Real quick and easy guys, let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the pieces of wood to size. My, For my situation, everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different depending on the area you're working with. For my situation, it's going to be, you're essentially creating a ladder and mine's going to be about five feet tall. So I'm going to cut that to size. I want it to be about four feet wide. So I'm going to cut that real quick and show you guys what's up. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your two side pieces and you're going to measure down. You want it to be at least 15 inches from the top of wherever this is going. I measured 12 because it's going to be at an angle so where they're at it's still going to be 15 inches from the roosting spot to the top of the enclosure if that makes sense. So you're going to come down, you're going to mark off where you're going to drill and then from there you want at least 12 inches. I went a little bit more, I went to 14 just to give them a little extra space but that 14 or 12 inches is 4 is to give them enough room height wise and also allow airflow. I'm here in Florida, it's a little humid, it's a little hot so those extra 2 inches will go a long way. And plus it's multi-species, I could even have my ducks perching, so 14 inches instead of 12, but 12 minimum for chickens. So for, I'm going to have three posts, one right here, one right here, and one right here. I went ahead and marked them with a pen, and I'm going to drill some pilot holes. After those pilot holes are drilled, what you're going to do is drill more pilot holes onto the cross beams. I drill them right here, right in the middle. Okay, okay. Now what those pilot holes do is they make it easier for you to put the screws in and attach everything. Makes it a lot more streamlined, a lot more easy. You want to make sure the drill bit you use is a little bit smaller than the screws that you use. But yeah, it makes things a lot easier, a lot smoother. And uh, now all we got to do is put some screws in and it's done. This thing is so easy guys, almost done. Okay guys, that's it. And the reason I did it that way, going through the middle, instead of, uh, let's see, one example. Now the reason I did that and I went through the middle 
oh yeah, that reminds me. Another important part about drilling a pilot hole, especially in, in this section right here, is you're less likely to split the wood if you pre-drill a hole before you put that screw in. Now, what's important about doing it this way, instead of attaching the piece of wood like this on top, is, especially you guys in those colder climates, the chickens need something flat. Everything needs something flat to roost on, not something cornered, not something round, they need something flat. Why that's important is when it's flat, the chickens are able to sit down and have their, uh, their feathers cover their feet, which is important for when it gets cold out. All right, they can't do that if the bar is rounded or if it's cornered like this. And if you put it right here, you see it's always gonna be at an angle, so they have, it's gonna be cornered. But this way, doing it one screw on either side, that's all it takes, and you can move this after you install it or put it wherever you're putting it, you can move this to make sure that it's flat for your birds, which is important. And that's it guys, super easy, let's go put it up. That's it guys. Super simple, I just wanted to make another one. They already had one. Oh I know, tell me how you feel. But I have 12 guinea fowl and uh, these Muscovy ducks like to perch as well. I haven't seen them do it yet, they're still growing out. Oh sweetheart, I know. And these death layer chicks don't all have the room on this one with the guinea fowl sometimes because like I said there's 12 of them so I wanted to put another one in here just to give them more space I also added this tarp today the second tarp for more shade also to help keep the food dry during rainy but yeah I just think they deserved another one. They really enjoy this one. I'm gonna be building them another coop here soon too, I think. I'm not sure because I know once everything matures out, I'm gonna have to cull some things. So the numbers will drop a little bit. But yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did give me a thumbs up and uh subscribe yeah you know what to do thanks for watching guys love ya